Today's video, I'm going to be talking about having a play call script, why it's helpful and what you can do with it to make Madden more uh, just systematic and kind of master just the more basics of the game. And we're in our Super Bowl. I think we're playing actually a pretty decent player here. So uh, really excited about this game. So essentially, when we talk about having a play call script, what that basically is, is it's having a general plan for your first drive or your first like five to 10 play calls. Um, in Madden, in the NFL, they might do more of that. They might do less of that. And basically what you're trying to see is within these plays, how they defend them. How do they defend certain things? How do they adjust to certain things? Those are the questions we want to have answered. So, um, for example, here, get screamed at, okay, terrible pocket by me. Got absolutely hummed at <laughs> by my guy here. Uh, but essentially, we're going to script to a degree our first several play calls. So uh, we're going to call certain things. So I called the RPO, saw that was open. I came back, called this play, saw, okay, he's going to blitz me. Um, I'll come back to this play now, see how he defends that. Okay, I see I have that. And so within the first couple of plays, I've kind of attacked all kinds of different areas. And so it's given me information about how he's going to want to play defense. That is the important part of scripting your plays. That is um, the main purpose behind it, right? So, uh, so that's the biggest thing. And you can do it for really as many as you want. It really doesn't, uh, really, doesn't really matter, uh, so to speak, here, as I am going to throw a bad read. It was actually a good read. I just threw it late because I was scared because he blitzed me. Um, another thing about that in the first drive, you just find out a lot. You find out, okay, these are... You know, these are their main plays. These are their main adjustments for those plays. Though normally people will show you kind of their hand uh, within their within the first couple plays. So that's that's also important to understand. So he's actually running some trips that I didn't. I haven't played a lot of trips that I didn't this year, especially like good players and trips that I didn't. A couple. I've only played a couple really good players and trips, um, as we just give him a nice little free route over the middle. And that's kind of what I'm going to do on defense as well. I kind of script my first um, – or I kind of like have like, okay, here's my main thing. Here's my main plan uh, for my adjustments. And based off of what they do to attack those adjustments, that's kind of where the game starts to be played. So you'll see right here – you should throw that round. That's deep in zone KO. And he kind of – honestly, he kind of threw that a little bit late. Like, if he throws that a little bit early, I think that's more open. But I just wanted to see if he'd be willing to throw that. That's kind of one of the more popular um, routes in trips tight end. So you would think he would throw that. I'm going to take the tight end here. That's pretty decent. Trips D. And now we got him on a third down. So we're both kind of playing, honestly, fairly – maybe bad offense, good defense. I don't know however you want to um, – however you want to – raise it but able to hang in here throws a little corner out that's mid zone and we got him on a fourth down we'll see if he takes his three he probably will go for this honestly just because he's he's kind of a comp player i think so or at least a decent above average player for sure actually gonna take his three he's really sweating the super bowl it is the right decision to take three there but they're just kind of it's kind of just uh just playing around and i'm in my super bowl i don't know if he's in his super bowl he might be so i don't know i don't know if you can both be in your super bowl at the same time so uh pretty much the last three minutes of the game have been absolutely terrible for us a uh, bad start and honestly he just kind of hit me with the blitz from six one that i was kind of shocked that it came in so well um i haven't seen a 6-1 blitz like that, where if you – I'm just kind of surprised. He also showed me a couple of things he's going to do. So he's going to use that middle linebacker in man-to-man -man coverage a lot. He's going to use him as a cross man rover. Um, yeah, so we'll see. Uh, I don't I don't really like 6-1. I think 6-1 is a bad defense, but at the same time, it's kind of a – from what I've, what I've heard a lot of people say, and I actually kind of agree with it, is it's kind of like a get-lucky defense. It's like they're just kind of trying to get lucky. Um, so we'll see. So, okay, so kind of the script, we ran the RPO, we ran double corner, we ran Durham, you know, we saw some some different things, right, that he's going to do, so hopefully we'll be able to, uh, gosh, he's just sending six every single time, I guess, we'll get out of there with Tony, big Tony, break tackle, we need to get seven here, honestly, uh, if we get three here, it's kind of a, a bad deal, we really need to get seven, and because he's blitzing his whole team every single play, 
I just I I have not seen a six one player that blitzes their whole team like this. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, I'm just gonna get another pressure. That's crazy to me. We're just living that way. We're just gonna blitz the whole team and Huh. Kind of interesting. I just haven't seen six one player play like this in a long time where you actually are trying to send six every play. Or at least the majority of the plays. Notice another little thing about his defense is he's not backing anybody off. He just comes out. We're just playing. You know, we're just gaming, I guess. Kind of interesting. That's just kind of a like I said, just and I'll say it one more time, then I'll not say it again, at least for a second. But uh, it's just kind of interesting how he's playing. I just I wonder why this is his strategy. Because it's basically man to man, yeah. I can't throw my wide open player. This blitz is great. This is the best blitz in Madden 24. This is a terrible blitz. And it's just working. I'm going to go to this route combination, honestly. I uh, The way he's playing, I kind of just want to do this. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what he does to this. Just take the easy yards. I was gonna say, does he get? Did we not get the first? All right, first and ten. Honestly, I just feel like he he's not in a good defense for the RPO. He really isn't. Um, I'm just kind of shocked that we're this is what we're doing. I just just haven't seen this. <laughs> I'm gonna try to hit the tight end here. Wide open. A lot of people are sleeping on this tight end flat, to be honest. A lot of people. People don't realize how the way that flat route works is it's very similar to like a, a legitimate slant out. So it's really good for beating the blitz. It's really good for beating a lot of different defenses that people are going to run. Um, so looks like he's probably going to go to the – he's going to try to stop the RPO now, I would assume. But we'll still look at it. Give it a look-see. Yep, he's lurking there. Little Dre Archer breaking tackles. Simple, easy. Okay, so we got <laughs> we somehow got seven on this guy um, as he's playing. the These kind of players, when they, they run stuff like this, I just don't know why they're doing it. And so it becomes hard to – not hard, but just different. Um, you're, you're just not used to like, okay, we're going to legitimately send six at you out of six one every single play. And – we're just cool with the tight end being wide open in the flat. Like you just don't, you just don't see that a lot. So anyway, we'll see how he adjusts to that um, throughout the game. A lot of this is, you know, when you're playing someone like this uh, or when you're just playing in general, an important, not even an important game, but just you're playing someone that might even be better than you. you got to not panic. Um, that's a big thing. Like, I'm so guilty of being that guy that just panics against some of the better players. When I play really good players, I just panic half the time. And they basically win the game before we even play it. All right. Let's see if we can get. I'm going to sit like this. I'm actually going to do this. I hope this works. Oh, he threw that. And that was open. And that I got that. There it is. Can't freak out about that kind of dot. That was not. You kind of live with stuff like this. He's kind of doing random stuff. I'm trying to think defensively what I want to do. Honestly, I think one of the, like I said, I think one of the big mistakes that a lot of players, a lot of players make is they, they basically try to stop every single thing they could possibly do. They literally try to like, and I, I kind of don't know how that throw is available to you when I have mid zone and deep out. So we're going to kind of not care about that. All right, we'll see how this does. This might be D. Yeah. And if they have to do that, like, I'm cool with that. I mean, against a player like this, another thing we're kind of playing, like, in this situation, you know, 338 on the clock, ball on the 30-yard line. One of the big things I've got to think about is I've got to also think about, you know, um, I've got to think about the clock a little bit. Yep. 
Little tight end, corner, bagged. Yep. Third and 16. So, situationally here, honestly, it'd be great if I could force him to think, take three. Oh, he threw right at me. Oh, I thought he was going <laughs> to. Oh, that's painful. Oh, I hate that. Oh, my gosh. I just hate when people do that. It legitimately was not open, and he just threw it anyway. Oh, that's frustrating. Now we're just doing whatever. Yeah, I mean, that's I feel like he's kind of bagged, to be honest. Um, I feel like we're playing fine. Not too worried about that. No, take that away. Let him run. That's fine. I don't care. Wouldn't have liked. I would have liked him to not get ten yards. I'm trying to think how I want to do this defensively. I kind of want to blitz him here. That's pretty aggressive, D. I think we're going to do this. He threw another pick. He threw another one. He threw another one. He's thrown, I think, three interceptions on this drive alone. That's actually crazy. He's going to take another field goal. This one of the most important games of man he's ever played. Honestly, it's a win for us. We got a minute 50. We got a chance to go score a touchdown. Not mad at it. If we go up 14 to 6, that's not a bad way to end this half. Like, I have... I have totally been just not playing good offensively this game. So, yeah, we'll see. Hopefully he just blitzes six every single time. I mean, I just don't know. I've just never seen somebody play defense like this. It's kind of odd. It's just it's just different. I just, just don't – I mean, I've played people, but not good players. Good players don't play defense like this. Um, so we'll see how this goes. This is a really big drive. I do. I mean, it would be awesome to get three, uh, to get seven here. It really would. So I'm trying to think how I want to approach this. I think another thing I could do. I forgot he is sitting six, and I do have a couple setups, but I might be able to hit him over the top. We're gonna start out with RBO because I mean, why wouldn't you? Just see what he does against it. Nope, that's open. We'll throw it. Get out there. Just make him have to run out there. That's fine. Uh, all right, let's go this play. Let's just go with this. He did go zone on the back end of that. All right, ball in the middle of the field. We're going to quick snap the RPO and then maybe take a timeout, kind of think about some things. I don't know. We'll see. He's actually shown that he's going to just give me the run, so we'll just take the run. Go no huddle. We'll just quick snap corner strike here. Try to hit the tight end. I'll actually see if I can throw this. I think I kind of can, honestly. Yeah, buddy. That's a dot. That's a skimbo dot right there. <laughs> I, lear I, I learned that from watching skimbo play, honestly. I'm not too thrilled that I gave him the ball back with 40, but, I mean, seven is huge there. And I feel like the way I've been playing defense, like, even if he gets three, I'm still in a good spot. So, I don't know. Maybe not. He's got three timeouts. He's probably going to get three. Um, we just honestly here, like if he gets three, if you think about it, he's down by five. So I want, I just, honestly, that's okay. Like the way he's playing defense, I mean, it just shows like, I just, I mean, he's just gonna, I just don't understand how he's playing defense. I actually, I mean, it, it's actually crazy. He actually got to stop the first drive, honestly, on me. Um, I just feel like he's playing so sellout defensively that, I mean, it's just, I don't know. I'd just be surprised if he stops me again. Um, or at least, I don't know. Maybe, I mean, he might. We'll see. He's a good player. But I just don't think, I just don't think what he's doing defensively is really going to work. But we'll see. He's still got to play good defense. I did not want to do that. Good play. That's fine. I honestly, like, you out you, when you're playing somebody like that's actually got some competency and they kind of know like you know what work what works. You do kind of need to. Oh, we threw that. Oh, we threw that. Can we? Oh, oh, come on, Madden, Madden, you got to give me that pick right there. 
This is low key a really good D. I don't know if this works, but we're gonna run it. Keep wanting to throw this tight end corner. He's just not doing it. Throws right at me again. Dude, this dude keeps throwing me and I cannot animate. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness, this is terrible. Yeah, like I said, I bet you, I, I figure, I mean, he has to get three after what just happened to me. I mean, he has to. There, that's got to be a breakup. Yes, thank you. Or a knockout or whatever. Like, I just feel like to live on that throw is, I don't know. I just don't know how you make a living on that throw. That's like one of his plays, though. That's like his, like, all right, I'll lab this up to beat this defense. All right, here's what we're going to do to that. Gosh. I keep not getting my adjustments in, and it's kind of crazy. That's a KO, guys. That's got to be a KO, Madden. That's got to be a KO. This is crazy. All right. Bad. He's out of bounds. Uh, uh, he's just doing random stuff. <sighs> Cross man the whole team with a bird hook. What can go wrong? They don't really throw a lot of corner routes here, honestly. Actually, you know what? Ah, shoot, I got off. A gapped him. And he's not going to get points. The Lord provideth. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. This is crazy that he. I, don't, I guess maybe he thought situationally he needs to, he needs to get points or get seven. I don't know. Maybe he's just messing around. It's just funny because he took the field goals on the first two drives. You would think if he was actually playing serious, he would take us three right there. We've actually stymied stymy the slimy in the red zone. We've stymied the slimy in the red zone, boys. Um, I'm honestly not feeling terrible about our our status here. Fourteen to six. We played terrible offensively, and honestly, this is a, a true testament. We're gonna, this is this is kind of shaping up to be a game where I think he's gonna make. I think we're gonna finally catch an interception, hopefully. Um, and there is some things that we're starting to see that we can do to this defense that is gonna give him a little bit of trouble. Um, so we'll try that here. So I've got. I have to go user. The, the left there good good very good all right I have to go use her the running back <laughs> uh, I actually throw it throw it throw it oh he's throwing a pick again man oh I feel like he has been I feel like he's bagged boys I feel like he's bagged All right. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. He's blitzing. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, I'm so mad at myself. Oh, we just gave him a free touchdown. We just gave him a free touchdown. That's terrible. He's literally in a bag. He cannot move, boys. Look at this. This is a cage. If I put that safety in the middle third, this is an absolute cage. My stupid buttons keep uh, this is all this is literally why I lose mana games. My stupid button. My adjustments are so stinking slow. Look, this is gonna be a sack. That safety's gotta be in the middle third right there, boys. Uh I'm gonna go off sides here. I meant to go off sides, it wouldn't let me. It almost worked out for me. Ugh, and we gave him a free two point because I was mad because I watched some film. Ah, we just let him back in the game. That's terrible. That is like, you gosh, man. When you're playing a player that's semi-competent in Madden, you cannot do stuff like that. That was such a mistake. I've been playing so good, too, defensively. I feel like my defense has really done a decent job. Uh, and we just gave that up. That's just terrible. All right, so you got to recover mentally. Snap out of it. We got to go get seven here. Focus on the task at hand. Can't change what can't change the pass. So, all right, we're gonna run Durham until he stops it. I think. 
motion this guy out, see what he does. That's free. I wonder if I can throw this running back route. That's free again. Let me break a tackle. Get out, Tony. Get out, Tony. Get out, Tony. Get out, Tony. All right, we're going to quick snap stick here. I just love this quick snap right here. I think it's a really good quick snap. Let's see what he does. He gave it up again. Let me, get, let me make the throw, Big Perry. Big Perry making the throw. You can't man up the slot. This I literally learned that from Skimbo. Uh, watching him play so much this year. You put a slot receiver on a streak, if it's safe, these man, if they don't get pressed, even if they get pressed, but especially if they don't get pressed, if it's one on one, you just free form, free form it to the free form it up and over the player, and it's a good route. No, he's kind of just giving it to me. All right. Well, at least we got seven. That's what we needed to do. Now we need to get a stop, and I'm good with holding him three. I just can't give him a free touchdown. He has shown me. So many times he's gonna throw me the ball. Like he has, he he is begging to throw an interception. We just have to get our stop. We just have to go get our stop, and then we and then we are in a, a lot better spot. So uh, I'm just so aggravated with myself for not getting that adjustment off. I, I had a stop. I just I had a stop. I just did not get my adjustment off, and that just goes back to like you know you just got to be better at that. You know you got to be better at that defensively. There's certain adjustments you need to get off early. And then there's certain ones that can wait till late. So just my my bad. He is kind of a it is kind of delayed. All right, here we go. Let's do this. That's mid zone. That's mid zone. No sir. Guys, mid zone KO is that good. It really is. Mid zone KO in a yellow zone. It's a really good adjustment. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Good. Good. Another third down. This time I can't blow it. Okay. So what's he called every single time in a must have it situation? He is called this play. There it is again. Ty Law, that should have been a pick, actually. If I just if I just hit triangle. Uh, all right, I gotta stop the tight end corner. Gotta stop the tight end corner. I gotta stop the tight end corner. I gotta stop the tight end corner. I honestly don't kind of. I honestly low key. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do that. But we're gonna do this. Oh, <laughs> that was a bad user. Oh, that was a bad user. I don't have to use. Uh, good play call, too. All right, good play. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> That's frustrating. Oh, that's that open on a hard flat. Yeah. Wow. I guess I do got to use that. Uh, this is a struggle draft if I've ever seen one. Let's go with this. No, no, no. All right. So second and 21, again, when he needs a play, he goes to his little tight end corner. So you got to think. We're going to get that, or we're going to get slant posts. I like these adjustments for those those combos. Oh, he threw that. Uh, that's – I wish that was not that open. I just think that's not a great read. All right, let's see. Everything's bagged here. He's going to scramble. 
Oh, this is such a struggle drive. Oh, this is such a struggle drive. It's crazy. I got a hold right here. Oh, he was throwing it to me, too. He was throwing me the ball. <laughs> he was oh, the game just will not let him throw it. All right. Got to watch the tight end corner. Got to watch the tight end corner. It's a streak. It's not a corner. It's a slant pose. That's a pick. GG's. It's over. Get out of there, Bo. Oh, my gosh. We've done it. Big Bo. Oh, that's actually low key kind of bad. <laughs> oh, we finally got our interception. It's a freaking Christmas miracle, man. This guy's a good player. I mean, he's kind of not, or he's like a he's like an up and coming player. I'm pretty sure he's in. He's in the if he's in the WD crew, he's in Astros crew. And I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of the way Astro plays the game. I think Astro is really good. I think I think Astro is really good. So he got out of six one. Now he's in dollar. Um, a little bit more standard defense in terms of what he's going to be able to do. I feel a little better. I honestly feel a little better against dollar than six one. Just because of the way he plays, I just I don't know. I mean, it just kind of the way he plays in six one is just it's just odd. I mean, it's just odd. So. All right, so he's running this blitz. Hopefully, this play will work. We'll see. Hopefully, the pass pro will work too. Be great if great if we could actually just sit back. I can't ID anybody again. I've been having some trouble with this ID feature. That's got to be a touchdown. That's got to be a touchdown. Just catch it. Oh, man, maybe I should have throw that differently. Maybe I should throw. Maybe I should throw that differently. That's a, that's a touchdown, man. That's a touchdown. Oh, that's a touchdown. That's crazy. All right, so as good as I'm playing on defense, honestly, like I just don't want to give him the – I just don't want to turn this over here. Let's see if he gives it to me again. Let me see if I can just get the ball to him. Just catch it. Oh. Uh. Yeah, you got to take your three here because you're in control of the game. You're in control of the game. You got to go with two possessions. I just thought I'd, I thought I'd be able to possession catch that. Maybe if I rat catch that, I get that. I don't know. I got to lab that throw more against base press dollar because that that's that's a big vulnerability of baseline press dollar, especially when people put those tall guys on the outside. Um, if you guys didn't know this, tall players, especially on defense, this has been a thing every year in next gen. Um, the taller players have a harder time, in my opinion, getting their hips turned back to actually go get the route. So when you throw those streaks, they're normally a little bit more open. I just got to be able to catch it. So unfortunate, but it is what it is. All right. So situational defense kind of game management here a little bit. We just want to play like, we don't want to play we, we kind of conservative. Like we still want to. Like we still want to play de good defense. We just want to play good defense at the end of the day here. We just want to play good defense. So that's kind of what I'm trying to do. We'll see if I'm able to do it. I mean, first throw right at me again. Man, I just cannot get there, man. My user is just that bad, I guess. Gosh dang it. I feel like I have him. Let's do this. Now that's open. Throw that, throw that, throw that, throw that, throw that. Throw that. Throw that. Yep. So many throwaways, boys. So many throwaways. We've played so good defensively. This has been a really, really good game. We just got to finish it. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not worried about that at all. All right. So he should flip here. He is going to flip here. I need... I need this to work. Give me the ball. <laughs> oh, I'm actually shocked he threw that. <laughs> I've been doing that adjustment a lot. I'm just shocked he threw that. That's kind of crazy. 
He, maybe he's just not been playing the game much. I don't know. I mean, this guy's good enough. He should know. Like, you can't throw that if that's manned up. I'm just shocked. This this is crazy. I'm actually I'm actually I'm actually flooding <laughs> against a decent player. I'm so proud of myself. This is the system, boys. This is the dollar D. <laughs> I'm just shocked he threw that. I can't. Why would you throw that? I mean, I guess. My man trick slimy worm out here just chucking stuff. <sighs> got the Super Bowl, hopefully. We just got to keep playing good defense. You take it one play at a time, the system, make it systematic. So what I'm trying, what I was trying to do defensively, just to break it down for you, is basically the only thing he's had all game, if you really think about it, is the tight end seam streak. The tight end corner and the tight end um, the tight end seam streak, the tight end corner, and the tight end drag. That's basically been what's been open, um, if you think about it. So I'm just trying to make sure that that is not um, available. That's the main thing. So, like, off rip, I want to go run, and I want to go get the tight end. Take that away. Make him have to throw it underneath. Pretty good defense. I should have clicked on the Suggs and picked that. But you so in any formation you're playing, I know I haven't talked a lot. I was actually kind of locked in, um, trying to trying to not look terrible for you guys. Um, in any Madden, in any any game that you play, one of the things that's really really important um, when you're playing somebody, especially like I said, if they are a competent Madden player, okay, that is important. If they are not competent, then you don't have to care. You can do whatever, right? But if they're a competent, a semi-competent Madden player, look at Moss just out there lurking. And if they're a semi-competent Madden player, you have to under identify how are they actually going to beat you or how are they beating you. If they're beating you with these little kind of like, um, for lack of a better word, just like Mickey Mouse routes that, you know, are fairly like straightforward to stop, then you're playing, you have to understand you're playing good defense and it's kind of just a matter of time before the stop is going to be there for you. Okay. And, 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 and obviously you got to pick and choose your spots, but, but anyway, we'll just get out of there with Perry. I just run out of, I shouldn't have ran out of bounds. That was stupid. That was stupid. That was actually good defense by him. I probably have the tight end. Sometimes they play good defense boys. I really have honestly not played much offense. I'll just, Couple big plays against the six one garbage, and here we are. I think this little route combo, little quick snap play, I think it's a really good play because it forces them to have to curl flat, and then that little flat is just there. I mean, it's free. That's just free at the end of the day. Uh, let's do this. Let's see if this is open. That's a great free form, man. Oh, that's a great free form. Just kind of game situation. We'll just go for it now for fun. We're up 17. Game's pretty much in hand. You probably would kick three here. I just wanted to see if I can throw this uh, corner route. I think it's wide open, honestly. We'll see. Same D. Perry. <laughs> I was just slinging it, man. I, I, I was a good adjustment by him, but a little cloud out there. It's a good adjustment. Little RPO, just to close it. Just to close it. Just to close it. <laughs> oh man, there it is, boys. There it is. We're gonna be Super Bowl champions. We're gonna be Super Bowl champions. So I mean, honestly, the RPO there just was. I mean, a systematical call. You just trying to do something to kind of. I mean, just. You're just trying to get easy. I mean, reds. It's just hard to score in the red zone. It's so hard to pass down there this year. It's it's the hardest, in my opinion, it's ever been to score in the red zone from a passing perspective. And so you, but but the game is actually um, the counter to that for the game has been well. Then just run RPOs and run the ball. And honestly, it it kind of works. Like it's it's hard to stop these RPOs uh, down there. There's a lot of specific um, things you have to do. This is bad defense. Tight end will be open. Look at that seam flat, actually. Did you see that? Did you boys just see that seam flat? Did you boys just seem to see the seam flat? That is interesting. We might have found something. 
we might have just found something. No, 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 no. We might have we might have honestly found something. Look at the seam flat. Watch it play the tight end. No. Ah, it's gotta be a KO. Come on. That wasn't a great route. Most time, um, Okay, I got I got something. I got something for him here. I got something for him right here. Man up triangle. I want these seam flat. This seam flat is low key, pretty glitchy. Let's see if this works. Look at the seam flat. Look at the seam flat. Oh, look at the seam flat just out there balling. Yeah, I think seam flats, man. People don't know. People don't know about the seam flat. Quarter him. Crap. Good read. Uh, three picks, man. Just caging. Just out here caging. You know, no big deal. No big deal. Yeah, watch, watch that. Watch that. Watch that. Watch that. Play it. Play it. Oh, I didn't play it at the time. It must be a hash mark. Yeah, that's crazy. It played it the first time. Hard to score down here. Come on. Vert hook. Oh, I shouldn't have vert hooked. We'll cloud. This is good. That's good. All right, so all I have to do right here, I should just have to use the post to the tight end. Uh, that's gotta be me, man. That's gotta be me. Good read. Yeah, that, that should have been open. That was good. That was good. That should have been good. Uh, fourth down. That's manned up. Give me the ball. Dude, we're actually catching the ball this game. It's kind of crazy. I'm surprised he hasn't quit. I guess he's just labbing. Man, just Cajun. Yeah, trips right in, man. The key to defending trips is man, man coverage, man ups. If you want to, if you want to play good trips defense, you want to play more man coverage. Now, um, it's not man coverage like you wouldn't play like you could play two men under, but. Uh, Typically, what works is some type of cross man. Uh, normally, is is the is the best way uh, to defend trips, and that's kind of what we've been doing. We've been doing a lot of cross manning. Yeah, that's open. And see, like if, if they're going to give you ten yards, you know, you just take your ten yards. I mean, I think I could might I might be able to run this play. Every single play, and he just won't stop it. Catch it. Pacheco don't have no mid zone. He does kind of have like an out of date team, I will say. Let's hit him with this. Let's hit him with this because he's base pressing. If you ever play someone that's base pressing, this is part of the reason why I'm still in Jets versus um, something else. It's kind of hard for them to defend this uh, streak out of trips. He might be able to. He might. He probably has D for it, but. Yeah, he has D for it. But if they're ever base pressing like that, when you audible, the 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 trick is basically like, and it doesn't have to be trips. It could literally be like any spread out formation. But when you audible, they can't back people up. And that's kind of what makes it really, really good. So something to think about, boys. Let's see if we can just hit him with a little double corner here. We haven't ran that much. We ran a lot of Durham and not much double corner. Got a little cloud. I could throw right over that. Perfect. He also doesn't have – like if he had uh, Julius Peppers or Calvin Johnson at slot corner, which I'm a big advocate for. I think if you're playing this game and you don't have uh, Peppers at slot, I think you're doing yourself a little bit of a disservice. But the thing I was trying to say is uh, basically um, – uh, uh, drawing a blank – but because he doesn't have those tall guys, you can just basically wait for the route to get over the top of the, the fender. It's wide open. Oh, that's so freaking sad, bro. I thought I'd have that. One of the cool parts about this offense, too, though, is you have plays like this. Like, this is something I think people just don't do enough. Like, just quick snap, corner strike. He's in a cloud, so that's going to be open. So now that what that forces them to have to do 
is it forces them to have to um, like hard flat and then it forces them to hard flat cloud flat. And then, right. So those are kind of the ideas. I actually think we're going to do this. Go a little flood play. See how you can't back off that slot corner because we audibled. So that's free. You're still like stuff like that. Just like little things, you know, you have your main plays, but then you can do these little things um, to, to open them up a little bit more. I'm just going to run this route combo more so for fun. I don't think he's going to blitz me. I could be wrong. I'll still set up a pass bro here. Yep. Just a little underneath stuff. Just work the ball down the field. I think it takes discipline to take you underneath every single time, but I think I think it really makes a big difference in your game. Let's go to flood. I don't know if I can throw this throughout to the tight end. But I'm gonna try it. Well, he screamed at me. I'm not. <laughs> Oh, I didn't set up any pass pro and got screamed at. Classic. I'm going to throw this just for fun, just because it's the, probably the last play of the game. I don't know that he'll call this coverage. But I want to throw this. Um, I really want to throw this route to Hayward Bay. The only problem is he's probably going to be in a cloud. And it's probably not going to be there. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, it's kind of not there. I'm going to throw that. And I kind of I caught that. <laughs> I got that. Man, GG's. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is probably one of the better gameplays on the channel. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the gameplays, let me know. I'll keep making them. We are officially Super Bowl champions. Super pumped for that. You know, we're going to go to Disney World, celebrate. Again, if you want any of the offenses or defenses that I use in these gameplays, join the Patreon. I break everything down in depth and try to really explain um, the strengths and weaknesses of everything that we have on there. So thanks for watching the video and to join the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.